Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 184. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Hello, Tracy. That was so nice. That was good, right? I yeah. changed your name to Herzog. Herzog. <laughs> We're here to talk about Teen Mom OG Season 9, Episode 3. Mm-hmm. Before we get into the episode, we have a little bit of housekeeping. I love housekeeping. Noel, first and foremost, our new favorite obsession is stereo. going live on stereo every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Standard Eastern Time. Mm-hmm. And y- what you do is you're going to download the stereo app. Every single person. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a casual listener. I don't care if you are seven years old and just in the backseat of your mom's van right now yes. and being forced to listen to this. <laughs> you know you have a phone. Take out your phone. <laughs> download the stereo app. Now, you can use the link in uh, the show notes right now. Right. Mm -hmm. So just look right down in the show notes. You can click that link. Um, So you can or you can go to stereo dot com slash Trixie Tuzini or you could just download stereo. What you're going to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to follow Trixie Tuzini. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's you. And then you're going to follow Noe Girl. Mm -hmm. That's you. That's me. Right. (laughs) And that's what you need to do. Listen, do you plan on listening? You might not even plan on listening. You're going to do it anyway. Uh, right. And here's the thing, right? Just mm-hmm. just give it a listen. Give it a listen. And That's see what you I'm feel. saying. Like, you don't have to commit to anything. No, it's totally free. Yeah. It's like, it's not going to cost you five cents. Won't cost it's not going to cost you not even two cents. Mm-mm. No, you don't nothing. even need to have sense to do this. But you know what would make sense <laughs> if you downloaded the stereo app? Oh, and you like that, right? Yeah. Um, Because you're going to want to listen. Once you get a little taste of our trash talk after show mm-hmm. where Noelle and I talk about everything that either we forgot to talk about on the podcast. And then here's the thing. You get to interact with us live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could just live. ask us things. You could ask. It's, it's a discussion with our listeners. You are going to be part of the show. I um I love doing stereo and I'm not saying that because we're talking about stereo no. like I actually love doing it. Like okay, la- I I always like wonder if it's Wednesday cuz now you know, mm-hmm. I mean this is a pandemic we don't leave the house and I'm yes. like, "Ooh, is tonight Wednesday?" Like I have big plans. So Wednesday nights, are you ready? I'm ready. Wednesday nights are my stereo nights. Uh-huh. Friday I get to take my prescription vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, it's 50,000 UIDs. Is that what it's called? UIDs? I don't know. I always say IUDs. Uh, yeah. And I'm, like, and I'm like, nope. I don't, I don't think, think that's, that's it. Yeah. I don't think yeah, that's so it. Yeah. So it's 50,000, whatever, but I only get to take it once a week. So listen, <laughs> the, guys, <laughs> gonna, this is her once a week. This is what, what she I'm has saying. to like, live for. These are my things. Yeah. Um, so, you know, contribute to this. Also, mm-hmm. if you don't want to be part of the show, you just listen. Yeah, you don't have to talk. Also, we don't see you, so you don't have to have we don't pants see or is, a shirt on. You're not going to see us either. So yeah. this is um, audio only. It's mm-hmm. just so much fun. Um, so make sure you download the stereo app. Trixie Tuzini, Noe Bear, Trash Talk After Show. We'll see you there. Holla. Uh, and we'll give you another reminder um, with more information. So let's... Uh, also, oh, also, one more thing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. There's so much housekeeping. No, today. it's okay. I'm here for it. We're at like three minutes and 45 <laughs> seconds in and we're still housekeeping. I'm sorry. The house is a mess today. Yeah. Listen, it's okay, Tracy. I'm here I to help you I was vacuuming under the couch. <laughs> I'm vacuuming under the couch right now. Are you going to do the windows? Yeah. I Listen, I lost a lemon. A lemon fell off my tree and it went into the matrix. It is glitched into the matrix. Stop it's gone. It. It's gone. All right. I think everyone's very confused right now. Noelle has a <laughs> lemon tree inside of her house. Yeah. I have a lemon tree inside of my house and I had a ripe lemon that fell mm-hmm. off. And it fell. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, you do you think that maybe one of the dogs took it and hit it somewhere? Because I bet you that happened. I don't think so. That you act like they're smart. They're not smart. They're not smart enough to ever notice it. Really? Yeah. You have stupid dogs. You need to get smarter dogs, or maybe like enroll them in some online courses. I guess maybe <laughs> it's driving Matt crazy. Matt was like searching the house. He thought like I was like breaking his chops. Oh, my God. There was a line behind my microwave the other day. All right. We're getting very (laughs) off topic. Um, Let me tell you something. While your dogs are on online classes, you know what you could do? You can go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast and subscribe because we have another podcast called called um, Unexpected Trash Talk where we cover unexpected 
from TLC. Mm -hmm. And then we also have another podcast that has so many episodes. It's called BS. It used to be BS, not T mom related because it was like our personal podcast. Now it's just called BS. So go over there and subscribe. Uh, And there's just, there's just so much stuff to learn about. Oh, BS is the funnest. Like I, we teach you how to be people. Uh Uh-huh. We tell you everything. We tell you about TCBY. Yeah, you can learn about frozen yogurt flavors in in Queens, New York. This yeah, is the, important stuff. This guys. is like this is the stuff that makes the money, guys. Seriously, oh my god! I heard uh, Joe Rogan has been interested in having us on because he just like, he wants to hear about the white chocolate mousse. Well, he actually uh, called me because he was like, I heard BS is such a great podcast. Mm-hmm. I, if you guys could come to my new studio in Austin, Texas, and give me some pointers on how to podcast. Yeah, if you could um, get me some listens, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's like, it, also, can I be on Teen Mom so people will listen to me? I wish. And I was like, Joe, <laughs> one day, okay? I got day. you. <laughs> yeah, one day, but not yet. <laughs> You're not there yet. Um, So let's talk about Teen Mom OG, season nine, episode three. We're going to start with a Mackenzie McKee, who, McGee, McGee, I always say McKee. I always think it's McKee, too. Okay, well, it's Mackenzie M. M-M. Okay, we'll take it. M and M. Yeah. Um, she's been making some comments online that I do not enjoy. So it's hard for me to like her, but at the same time, like she is going through a lot of stress in her life. So I kind of feel for her. I feel for her, uh, because we'll get into it, but like having a sick parent sucks. Oh my God. Yeah, totally. So Jaxie, um, she's talking to the kids about Florida. Right. She's like, Hey guys, in four hours, we moved to Florida. (laughs) Is that cool with you? And Jaxie is like, I don't know if there is cereal in Florida, so let's not. Right. And she's like, um, like we could go to the store and get some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know this is I felt like I was reasoning with you. You were like, well, I don't know if there's symphony bars where we're going to go. <laughs> so I'm not positive if I want if I want to move. Tracy. And then I reassure you there's a Walmart. And then you're like, all right, let's get in the car. Do you know how many symphony bars I'm buying next week in Kentucky? Oh. <laughs> so many. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, so they basically leave in a week. She tells the kids, with, yeah. you know, and it's a 20 hour drive. Yeah. I mean, listen, when you and I road tripped, yeah. we definitely took some really long rides, but we didn't hit 20 hours. 20 hours. But I'm is sure long. they're going to break it up. They're, they have to break She's it up. She's breaking it up between three days. I feel like that's a rookie move. Like you can't do it in <laughs> two days. Come on. Well, she also has 25 kids in there. I get those kids honestly seem really annoying. It's just, is it just me? (laughs) I feel like her kid seems so annoying. Well, I think that um, Bronx said that he'll drive one leg of the trip. (laughs) He said, but he's going to pretend that it's on a bucking Bronx. I was going to say, Tracy, we share. They're going to (laughs) rodeo. I was thinking he's going to be on a bucking Bronco. And Gannon's like, Mommy, when we go to Florida, can I cut my T-shirt so my nipples come out the side? <laughs> and she's like, yes, of course you can, Gannon. I, you can make sure that your nipples come out and you can ride the horse and like fall off. And then you can get all the concussions just like daddy. You actually like a, sound like her. Yeah, I'm a very good impressionist. That's, you are I won an award for that. I for impressionism? A, uh, uh huh. Yeah, I want a daytime Emmy. Mm, you're very good. Listen, Tracy. I just with all of your accomplishments. I mean, mm-hmm. you did get a scholarship to high school. I was thinking about that today. I did. I, mean, I did. You got a scholarship <laughs> to a very good high school. So why you were you thinking know. about that? Were you thinking like my friend's a moron and she still got a scholarship? I don't know. I okay. So I was thinking about like a podcast I did yesterday, and there were things right. I talked about. I'm like, I wonder if Tracy even knew this about me. And I'm like, then again, there were things I didn't know about her. <laughs> I didn't know that she got a scholarship to high school. I was carrying the laundry, and this is what I was thinking about. <laughs> and I'm like, we had to call her mother for her mother to tell us me. yeah uh-huh it was hurtful i'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you that was hurtful but you know now we're back and i think that we're stronger from it i think so i think we bounced back mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. also speaking of podcasts you were on you were on recap and gown a few weeks ago yeah and you did can't hardly wait which is an amazing show so check out the podcast recap and gown noelle is a guest i was on the show also i did clueless it's not a big deal no it's not a big deal at all you probably killed it you may have the movie memorized but me too we could watch it in our heads yeah i watched it in my head right yeah. before i recorded <laughs> that so check out recap and gown um brian is in our group on facebook and he's one of the hosts um and Brian's also if you want to join our facebook group yeah teen mom trash talk podcast on facebook that's where you could chat with us okay all right so 
They're going to leave in a week. They're going to drive 20 hours. Right. And her friend is going to rent her house. So that's good. While she's away. I know. So that that's actually really helpful. I guess she's just going to rent it furnished. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little switcheroo. So yeah. um, her dad has, and this is a quote, chest problems. <laughs> but what does that mean? And I'm like, I don't not have chest problems. Right. I have chest like, problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish um, my breasts were fuller. Sure. That's a chest problem. That is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I that, that was pretty general. So she's packing and then she meets with her dad and Ranger Whitney about the doctor's appointment. Lilith. Lilith was there. <laughs> Lilith Fair was there. Um. She was headlining the festival at in front of dad's house on the porch. Listen, I just I want to say I have a flashback of when we yeah. watched uh, the 16 and Pregnant of Mackenzie. Mm-hmm. And they showed both of her sisters. And I swear Whitney's name was spelled with two E's at the end. And now they okay. don't spell it that way. I believe that because there have been so many instances of people changing people's names. Yes. And people always like screenshot it and put it in the group from like old episodes. Chelsea Grace didn't used to be Chelsea Grace. Oh, she had a full on other name, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she had like two other names. And then someone was like, I think that MTV just like makes up friends names. Sure. It's like Gertrude. <laughs> right. Because like who the hell is named Gertrude? Well, <laughs> my doll Gertrude was Blanche. i think that's a good baby name anyway (laughs) so we find out that he has to have bypass surgery quadruple bypass that's scary super scary and then he says something that breaks my heart in a million pieces he goes i need your mom Mm, as soon as he said that i'm like everyone's gonna cry nobody cried Mm -hmm. but i would have cried oh i did yeah Mm -hmm. i did it made me feel terrible yeah so um then like and then you know you cry right Mm mm-hmm and then Mackenzie says something that is so dumb that you immediately stop crying. What did she say? Uh, she's like, I thought that he had a broken heart after mom died. I thought that's what his chest problems were. Tracy, I thought that I was a jerk for thinking like she was a moron for saying okay. that. So here's the thing. I understand that. Um, a broken heart can cause anxiety, which can yeah. cause like palpitations. Blo- okay. A broken heart is a, um, okay, Mackenzie, I don't know how to say this. Um, a broken heart is not a literal thing. Right. It's not like a broken knee. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. It's not very bony. Your heart yeah. is not as bony as you think it is. No, it's actually boneless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a boneless wing. Mm. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a boneless wing, which is really, if we're if we're gonna be honest, chicken it's nugget. Just, it's just a chicken nugget with some hot sauce on it, mm, and you know, that's what your heart is. Again, not to get off topic, but I'll never forget when you <laughs> ate the hottest <laughs> boneless wings in Applebee's. Okay, <laughs> but so you can't just say that and then not give a backstory. So here here's the backstory. Okay, um, me and Noel used to work at Applebee's. So <laughs> when I wasn't working and she was working, I didn't like not being without her. Yeah, like not being with her. So I would go on my days off and sit at the bar and um, eat boneless wings. I, I think have, like, you, I think you were with though. Lauren Mills. I swear, I think you were. I really mm-hmm. do think that I was mm-hmm. as well. So um, I ordered boneless wings with mild <laughs> buffalo sauce. Okay, and what happened was. Noel very busy at the bar orders it whatever puts it in and then the wings come and I'm like mm. and then I eat one and I um I saw Jesus in a vision because I was actually my uh, soul left my body and then Noel got super busy at the bar and couldn't give me water I was like I need water <laughs> water i need water and i was like this is not mild and you were like they gave you like habanero sauce you were like no i i put it in as mild and then Mm -hmm. the whole kitchen was like no this is mild and i was like i don't (laughs) feel like it's mild uh i drank maybe 20 to 25 glasses of water when you got unbusy this poor girl i turn around when i'm finally not busy i'm doing service bar i turn uh-huh. around you're so sweating red and sweating. sweating you were like and you like couldn't talk no i you couldn't were talk like, no oh, i need water 
Yeah, it was very sad. It was a low point in my life. <sighs> um, so anyway, okay. yada, yada, yada. Okay. That's um, his heart. Yes, that's how, right. <laughs> that's his boneless wing heart. <laughs> okay, well. Um, so now Whitney, this is so weird. Whitney's like, all right, so I mean, you're moving to Florida, but like you're the only one that can control his diabetes. So you have to stay here. Okay. I hope that <laughs> Mackenzie is not the only person controlling Brad's diabetes. Seriously, I hope because Brad, Brad has is got bigger. It. Brad's got bigger problems. If <laughs> right, that then open heart surgery. If Mackenzie's the <laughs> one controlling his diabetes, she's like, Dad. You know what's really good for diabetes? <laughs> it's when you take your shirt and you let the nipples hang out. <laughs> It just lets your diabetes like breathe a little bit because diabetes comes out your nipples. <laughs> That's where Look the at sugar Josh. comes out. Josh from. doesn't have any diabetes. Look at his nipples. You can always see them. We should wear a cowboy hat. It's so good for diabetes. Okay. So that is, um, oh, that is scary. But also like she, Whitney's like, listen, Here's the thing. Yeah. Mackenzie should absolutely stay for his surgery. Sure. But like, that's why Whitney. Right. Because his how diabetes. About, can you, how about, can you stay and help me take care of Papa Brad? Yeah. Can you help me bathe him? I don't know what he needs. Right. Like, right. just can you help me? Sure. Because I need help. Yeah. Um. Also, I like that Whitney and Brad are the same age. Also, they really are. Also, isn't there another sister? Where is she? She's probably like, I cannot be filmed with the two of them. Yeah, I just can't do this. Uh -huh. like, I, she's probably like, I heard uh, Teen Mom Trash Talk. They've already called Whitney a park ranger <laughs> and said that she was headlining Lilith Fair. I'm not stepping into the spotlight again. We've been through enough tragedy in this family. Um, so now she seems annoyed. Mackenzie seems super annoyed. Yeah, she does. Like, are you sure it's next week? She's like, I, oh my God. She's like, Dad. <laughs> Oh, you need me to control your diabetes? Right. Well, you better make sure that they don't cancel. Because <laughs> I will never be your daughter again. Right. He's like, I mean, I guess they're trying for next week. <laughs> I was like, I mean, they told me. I, I, don't, I don't think that they're. Yeah. So now her friend um, Kayla comes over. And right. she's explaining to Kayla on the stoop um, what they do during open heart surgery. Okay, Tracy. I... I know about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This mm -hmm. isn't one. So I wanted you to okay. explain to me if this All was right. right. All right. So here's the thing. Yeah. I am not a cardiologist exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. But every time I've done open heart surgery, what mm -hmm. I've done mm -hmm. is I've definitely, um, you know, put your body on a machine. Right. So that I could stop your heart and work on it. Right. But as far as removing your heart <laughs> and bringing it over yonder to right. do some repairs on it, right. like this isn't like the Apple store and you drop off your laptop to get backed up and repaired. But th they made it like it was like, right, like a car's transmission. Like they're going to take it out. Right, like they're going to take it out and they're going to send it to the transmission right. people to be rebuilt. No, I mean, listen, they stop your heart for do sure. They, but they break your chest bone? Well, they have to get into your heart. So, okay. So they break your chest bone. Sure. They disconnect all the wires and they take your heart out. But that's what I'm saying. They don't disconnect all the wires. Okay. <laughs> they just shut the car off. <laughs> And they yeah, okay, it. so all right. And then so they turn the it back on. That's very scary. So when um I installed my ceiling fan. Uh-huh. Okay, my friend uh -huh. Billy did it. He's an electrician. He was like, Tracy, can you shut off the fuse box so I don't die? Sure. Uh-huh. And then I did. Mm -hmm. And then he hooked the fan up and then he's like, turn it back on. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Open heart surgery. Uh -huh. Oh, what a <laughs> way to explain it. Yeah, he didn't have to um take all the wires to his house. Right. And repair And then it. bring them back. Yeah. Oh. But hey, listen, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm Like I said, I'm not a cardiologist. I'm more of a uh, PCP. Do we have any cardiologists in the group? If we do, <laughs> tell Please, us. Please, guys, give, tell me what uh, if what you think. Um, now, Mackenzie's going through a super hard time. And, you know, she's going to be in Oklahoma. She's going to be in Florida. She's going to be driving. She's going to be on the back of a bucking Bronco that Gannon <laughs> is driving from Oklahoma to, I don't know, apparently uh, the part of Florida that's closest to Puerto Rico. Because yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know. This is a 20 hour trip. So wherever she is, 
she should be getting some therapy. And I think that BetterHelp Online Counseling is the best way for her to do it because you can do it virtually from anywhere. As long as you um, can speak, you right. can do better help because you can do it on your phone. You can do it on a tablet. Mm-hmm. You can do it on your computer. You can text. You can video chat. You could just have a phone call. Yes. Whatever you're most comfortable with. You can do anything that you want. And better help online counseling is really there for you. These are licensed professional counselors and I use them. Noelle uses them. So many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp.com slash Trash Talk. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Talk. All right. Uh, Speaking of help. Yeah. Let's talk about Cheyenne and Zach. Okay. I just I'm I'm putting this out there. Just yeah. for the world to know. I don't buy this relationship at all. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that for okay. sure. And there's okay. one part in particular that I think you're going to really enjoy. Okay. All right. So Zach is there and he's really filled out. I can't tell you how attractive I find him. Yes. I it's agree like with disturbing. you. disturbing. Yeah. But he used to be like thinner i guess like more boyish and now he's a little bit yeah more I, f- I definitely think he's manlier it's like it's like he's aged so much yeah yeah so now um she, he's like what are you doing she's on her laptop and she's like i'm building a cart <laughs> mm-hmm. now does she mean she's adding things to her cart okay here's the thing right so he's like oh for where target and she's like mm-hmm. no i'm just building a cart so like is she illustrating a cart is she building an ikea cart I don't know. Is she graphic designing? <laughs> is she? What is a cart? Right. Right. Like what kind of cart? Is a cart something that we don't know about? I don't know. Is it a cart like crossover like Rebecca and Zayed have in their apartment? Right. Like is it a is it an actual shopping cart like from that you stole from? Uh, again, we have to be inclusive. King <laughs> Cullen, ShopRite, Kroger, Piggly Wiggly, mm. Wegmans, um, uh, Raleigh's. Winn-Dixie. There we go. What what's on the West Coast? Uh the West Coast would be um let me I think, think Raleigh's, right? That's a real thing. Where the hell I think do that I we used to always shop in Trader Joe's when I was in California. Right. Trader Joe's, Whole yeah. Foods. Um I'm trying to think of other um I, I just hate not including people. No, I know. A key food. Okay. Uh A uh, and P. Did we do that one? No, we didn't do A and P, uh, which is a good one. Shop right. Okay. I, did, I think uh, there used to be Path C Town or Path Mark C Town Food uh, Bazaar Associated. Okay, that one was good. Um, stop and Shop. Um, what else is there? Food Town. Did we do Food Town? I don't think so. No, you did King Cullen. Okay. Um, all right. Well, guess what? Figure. Um, so we tried to include yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, what can you cost, do? Right? Jungle gyms. <laughs> oh okay yeah, yeah. That's Ooh, a, that's net a West cost coast. that was a good right? thing net cost that was um shout out to our uh russian neighbors yeah there's a, so many of them in brooklyn i had no idea there's so many of yeah. them in my neighborhood too because you know yeah um so now she's building a cart i <laughs> i i pride myself in building carts all day long okay you build carts and then you bring them back to the store <laughs> <laughs> i build them they come to my house and then i bring them back <laughs> So now she's going to have lunch with her friend. Right. And um, then we see a flashback to drunk yeah, Cheyenne kicking Zach out of the party. Do I didn't realize this? how drunk she was. She was time. Oh, yeah. whacked out of her mind drunk. She's like, you can stay at my house. Yeah, Corey, baby. <laughs> And Here's like, the thing. Is it a prerequisite? Like you have to be good looking to be around these people. Like you I have, have to be good yet- looking to live in LA. Okay. Yes. But I've never seen one ugly person around Cheyenne. Never. It's disturbing. Never. Matt was the ugliest because he was from Virginia. And he still wasn't even ugly. Right. Right. But he was the mm-hmm. ugliest. But yeah. He wasn't from there. So now she's very worried about her friends accepting him again. So right. she goes to brunch mm-hmm. with Zayna. Yeah. Okay. And she has the fakest high pitched voice. I know it's so it's it's bull it's pippy so, as you, you know would what it say. is. It's because she's not speaking normally. 
She's not being genuine. She's not being genuine. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. You're Cheyenne. Tell me. Oh, hi, Tracy. I'm dating a new guy. <laughs> You're dating Zach again? Right. That's what I mean. Oh, it's, my God. She'll be like, um, but he's, I don't know if it's serious yet. And it's like, I don't what? know if it's serious. <laughs> I didn't even know you guys were dating. Oh, my God. So now she's like, uh, I'm going to call Remy and tell her right away. Right. And Remy, though, is not here for it. Remy's not. <laughs> Remy's like this. This is a bad idea. But That's there's also is. there's clearly so much more about their relationship that we didn't know. Of course. Mm-hmm. So now they're play fighting on the couch mm-hmm. when her both of her friends come over. These two girls. Right. It's the same day because they're wearing the same outfits. But also how cute are these outfits? That denim jumper. You I like mean, I now. would look like a mechanic, but she <laughs> looks you look so like a cute. very stylish mechanic. Like yeah. And she mechanic. had on Tom's. It was so cute. Um, so yeah, so they come over the same day and they have, uh, constructed a PowerPoint. Uh huh. Yes. So I'm sure they just found out about Zach yes. since they had time to, on know, the same day. Yes. To make a PowerPoint. Mm-hmm. So they're like, okay, what's different about Zach 2020? Mm-hmm. They're like, how are you Zach going to be more independent? Right. Okay. So now this is one of the funniest things that I saw. This was on one of the slides. Um, they had questions for him. One of them is, are you hiding any kids? Do you know that's the one I wrote down? Out of all so of them, that's the one I wrote. Funny. I thought that and was so funny. When they said, um, are you hiding any ex-girlfriends? And he's like, yeah, right here. Yeah. He's like, I'm dating her. Uh huh. Um, so now. I know what you're going to say. This is where it is. Yep. I know, Noelle, I thought of you. So mm-hmm. her friends are like, Cheyenne, mm-hmm. why do you want to be with Zach besides um this entire plan fitting in with your plan for a second baby yes yes Mm -hmm. she's like no right so that's exactly what it is listen we've all dated the safe bet the quote yeah, but unquote, we're, we're trying to have a kid with him you don't have a kid with him this they're not gonna stay together i mean that's just they're not this is Tracy, how many times in our lives have we met someone and tried to force a relationship because we thought they were the right person, but they weren't? Yeah. You know, this is a forced relationship. This is super Mm -hmm. forced. It didn't work 400 times, so it's not not working. Mm -hmm. This is not fate. This is not destiny. No, no, no. Yada, 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 Mm -hmm. whatever. You got the second baby, so Mm -hmm. here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's talk about Kate and Ty. Kate is um, still in Microblading Academy. Yes, yes, she is. Uh Uh-huh. It's a three-day course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's, you know, she's doing extra credit. She's <laughs> she's doing it one. It's it's eight hours a day. She's doing um one hour a day. <laughs> Listen, she's learning to color in the lines. Yes, she's <laughs> very good. So now um they're hanging out with her friend Alexa. Their mm-hmm. their friend Alexa, and they're talking about another baby. Right. And Alexa says something kind of alarming. She says, "This is a quote. You don't want to be having kids in your 30s. Girl, I felt so triggered. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. And she, I'm like, oh, you don't you don't want to be having you want what you in your teens? Yeah. What, what's going what on here? What does this mean? Right. She's mm-hmm. like, oh, 30. Ugh. It's like, oh, OK, because I was thinking about having kids in my 60s. That's to be what totally I mean. Honest with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing 40s here. <laughs> and then Tyler's like, no, please. <laughs> gross no way her lady parts would fall right out of the hole i'll Yuck. tell you though this is this episode is the least he's annoyed me in a while i didn't find mm. him too annoying okay mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. well that makes one of us so now she um she's holding veda down and she's microblading her okay i th- is she sharpieing her nails like okay what's happening this is, what I, all right, this is what i think mm-hmm. i think she was clipping her toenails but what in my mind yeah what she was doing. You ever see those um, nail files that spin yes. for like pets nails? I have one. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what it looked like she was doing to her. Oh, I thought she was sharpieing the kid's nails. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing. She was microblading her. Yeah. Whatever she, she was, was doing. She was microblading okay. toe hair on each toe. <laughs> She's like, I want you to be prepared for being a woman. Yeah. Seriously. But don't microblade them on. You got to <laughs> shave it off. <laughs> she's like you can't shave these off so <laughs> so now they're gonna have a fun day at the orchid which is um orchard orchard orchid and orchard I, okay <laughs> i think how you say it is orchid apple orchid yeah an orchid i honestly wish we were smarter Both i don't know us. i said they were at the fair so <laughs> uh, <laughs> i graduated college with a 4.0 gpa uh-huh where's montana <laughs> 
No one knows. <laughs> and there's no way to find out. No, you just can't find Let me out. Let tell you something. We were talking last week, as you know, about the states. The feedback that we got <laughs> on this was so amazing. Um, many of you thought it was hilarious and yes. funny. And then one person was yeah. like, what happened to your education in America? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I put that little uh, shrugs her shoulders emoji back right. to that because I don't I can't help. You yeah, I don't know. I mean, too bad. Sorry. The thing but is, it like, got real. <laughs> but I just want you guys to know that's why you should listen to BS on Patreon. because oh, that's the type of, of stuff that. we talk it's, about. It's uh-huh. all of that. It really is. OK, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. They're at the orchid orchid. <laughs> 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 I orch orchard or no orchard? not orchard. orchard orchard apple orchard okay all right and the fair they're at the fair <laughs> they're at the fair and they're talking with Alexa so um you know they're they're saying like you know after so this is Kate she's mm-hmm. like after talking with Alexa about having another baby and then all of a sudden I forgot that her friend's name was Alexa <laughs> that she was talking to her <laughs> Her oh, Amazon like, oh God, product. She like, hey Alexa, should I have another baby? <laughs> and Alexa's like, um, can ask you me again the later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see what happens if I say that. Hey Alexa, should I have another baby? <laughs> she said, hmm, I don't know that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, same, mm-hmm. same. That's what the a regular Alexa should have said instead of being like, oh my God, hurry. <laughs> so now. Nova is there at the fair yeah. and she's pushing uh, her baby in the carriage. And honestly, I think this is to get ready for the next baby that she's going to have to take care of. See what I see this. You and I like yeah. we think alike, but sometimes a little different in my mind. I'm like, um, why is she doing this excess work? Doesn't she know being adult is just all extra work? Why? Like, right. It's like, <laughs> why don't you get a why don't you get a part time job and see how fun that is? Seriously, you really want to push right? this now? You're going to be pushing it when you're 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you have five years before you got to do that. <laughs> and also, if you're going to pretend to be a mom when you're a little baby and you're going to push a carriage, you know what? Have a muffin top. Seriously, have a muffin. You know have I mean? a have smoker's some, cough. <laughs> have some loose um, <laughs> stomach muscles. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> have a prolapse bladder if you really want to pretend uh, that you're a mom. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's why I um I don't want to be here anymore. Mm-hmm. This is why. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's like if you want to like, sh- they should give her like me. Ooh, I just had an idea. What? Oh no. What? Maybe Kate could microblade a c-section scar <laughs> onto nova so she can really pretend she's a mom okay that'll work right yeah and she's like mommy i don't like this i need a onesie so i can cover my c-section <laughs> scar <laughs> no no i, I think, think i should get it okay maybe i should get a c-section scar microbladed why so then i could just tell guys i'm like oh, i know it, i had seven kids they took my organs out on the table they- yeah, they, it was very traumatic, and it did loosen my stomach a little bit. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It is a little flabby. That'll work. I just, and I just had the last one. Maybe right tell your that, quarantine yeah. mate that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be like, where are the kids? And I'm going to be like, you think I would have custody? That's hilarious. Um, you must not know me at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have to get to know each other. So now um, Kim yeah. suggests another kid, too. Yeah, everybody thinks this is the best idea. Kim, why don't you stick to delivering the mail? (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) And wearing some beaded jewelry. You know, on TikTok where it's like, tell me this without telling me this. Tell me Uh you are a mail carrier without telling me you're a mail carrier. And it just shows Kim. Kim. All right. So my quarantine mate said to me today, (laughs) tell me about your day without telling me about your day. (laughs) You and just showed walked, him your tears. And then walked away from me. <laughs> That's funny. I think I've been making them watch too much TikTok. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I don't like when I love that prompt, you know, you use in all different ways. But I hate when 
Um, okay. So like, for example, someone's like, tell me you have a dog without telling me you have a dog. And then they just show a picture of their dog. I'm yeah. like, no, uh-huh. that's lazy. But no, right, they'll do well. fun ones. Like, tell me you're white without like telling uh-huh. me you're white. And, and then the girl's like, I don't season my chicken. Right. Like an empty spice <laughs> rack. Exactly. <Yes. laughs> well, there was this one. It was like, tell me you're white without telling me you're white. And this girl was like, okay. So, and she was like in her car. Uh huh. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know that you were supposed to season food before you cooked it until I was like 25. Wow, yeah, that's extra like, white. <laughs> honestly, yeah, kind of the same. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Sort I of. I feel like no. You're Sicilian. We're Sicilian, but they. I gotta tell you, my family over seasoned everything. My no, my mom wasn't a big seasoner. She was a big salter. Okay. She doesn't like any kind of spices or. Um, my father anything. put hot sauce and spicy things on everything. Yeah, yeah. My, my mom is a little different. Um, yeah, she's so, a vegan though. So like, yes, yeah. <laughs> she's like, do you want some broccoli in your broccoli? Uh-huh. Extra broccoli. She extra makes the broccoli, best broccoli sauce soup in- though. She does <laughs> extra broccoli sauce in your bro- broccoli. <laughs> All right, so now Kate is yeah. basically doing a Tyler act out. Yeah. When. Mm-hmm. Like all of a sudden she's the annoying one. It's like since when are you like this? She's like Tyler, the bouncy house is closed. Nova's, you could you could hear uh huh her heart breaking, like it, literally breaking. Is it the funny? bones and it were crunching? But this is the type of stuff that would like kill you as a child. The bouncy, my life is over. Life is over. Well, the pain that I felt for her yep. just because I, not that I give a shit if Nova goes in the bouncy sure. house, but I internalized it and yes. projected it onto my own life. Uh-huh. She was like, the bouncy house is closed. It's closed. Okay. So now Tyler's yelling at Kate. As usual. Like, go, go, go to the bouncy house. Mm-hmm. Take her to the bouncy house before it closes. Come on, Kate. Let's go, Kate. Well, the thing is, because like she's walking towards him. It's she's, like, just go. Just go. Just go. Right. Yeah. She approaches him mm-hmm. and he's like, go. And she's like, I need. I was getting my purse. OK, so you know what? What? Why do you need your purse to go to the bouncy house when literally if I had to go to the bouncy house, I would put my purse down and be like, since you guys have a picnic table. Yeah. Here's my purse. Yeah. You know what that was about, right? She just wanted to what? Argue? Smoke a cig. Oh, really? She probably wanted to smoke a cig while Nova was in the bouncy oh, house. Oh, that's, yeah, you're so right. I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. And then Kim turns to Tyler and goes, you look just like your father. Yeah, right? That was, like, I was like, like oh, oh, that's not a good compliment at all, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. So now she comes back mm-hmm. and he's like, why couldn't you have just taken her to the bouncy house? Right. Why was that a fight? And she's like, well, I thought Veda would want to jump. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's like, who did you want to jump? We don't even have another kid. And he's like, oh, the one in the carriage. <laughs> Veda is basically um, an infant. She's like a, a fetus. Mm-hmm. You thought she was going to want to jump? That's what I mean. I don't understand. The other kids would trample her. <laughs> <laughs> so now Tyler wants to talk about why they fought. Well, this is what he does. Uh huh. He's like, we should talk. We should talk about why we fought. Why do you think we fought? If I, uh, uh, well, if, if I snapped at you, you I'm did snap sorry. at me, you did snap at me. If I did, why couldn't you, but why couldn't you just put her in the bouncy house? Well, you know, oh, I, oh, 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 if, if I did snap, oh, you think that case I of D is only nine points? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why if, don't you tell me another lie? If Kate? I did snap <laughs> at you, I apologize. <laughs> you snapped. Well, you should, and you should apologize. I'll apologize and you could apologize. But I didn't really, right, right, you right, were right, mean right. to me. Yeah, well, you're stupid, and uh, go microblade a C-section <laughs> scar on your oldest kid. Wow. <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, I okay. didn't snap at you. <laughs> Whatever, Tyler. You know, I just wanted to smoke a stove. The thing is, I didn't think Tyler was wrong here. No, like, I didn't I, think so either. Yeah, I, I didn't just. Yeah, I didn't think that he was wrong. I think she was like being kind of annoying. You're right. Like he was she was kind of like channeling Tyler. And it was like, I hate those apologies that if I that's what Mm -hmm. bothers me. Like if I hurt your feelings, I'm so sorry. But there was no reason it should have hurt your feelings when I called you a dumb cunt. Right. right. You are a dumb cunt. (laughs) Right. So if that hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. Right. I mean, if it hurts your feelings to hear who exactly you are. Right then I am sorry that that hurt your feelings, but that is who you are. And I did say that on purpose. 
It's like just because like I said it and I meant it doesn't mean like I don't I'm not sorry. Right. I am sorry. <laughs> right. That you you feel like that. Right. But I still said it because you're a cunt. <laughs> How are they attracted to each other? They're not. That's the problem. Okay, just checking. All right. It's so now- funny. I was thinking the same thing. I was looking at them and I was like, these people don't like each other. And but they both. don't. No, she's not attracted to him either. She's, no. you, you know, she's not because she tries to be perverted in a cringy way. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like, a. it's like, ooh, you want to do dick stuff tonight? Yeah. I can't and wait he's to like, blow he's like, you. He's like, yeah, I want to do dick stuff. Oh, Oh, you meant me and you. Yeah. Oh, you meant my <laughs> dick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought maybe we were. Okay, never mind. I do not want to do that. I do. I mean, I, I do. They have sex. Like, I can't believe they have sex. Okay, I can't well, believe Kim's, it. Kim's watching the kids so they can have alone time. Uh-huh. And now they're talking again about having another kid. And um, he's like, well, we're not not having a kid right now we're not not trying right okay well that is a very creative way to say (laughs) i blow loads inside of her Uh uh-huh yeah and kate's like yeah but tyler in the butt doesn't count for getting pregnant right that doesn't count i know you're practicing for your future right (laughs) (laughs) and tyler's like what about if i got pregnant this time because i i wouldn't mind growing some boobies right (laughs) yeah oh my god so now let's move on yeah (sighs) to macy so now there really isn't too much of a storyline but i love that they open the scene with jen and larry and larry (laughs) is in a medically induced coma on the couch what What happened happened? something like you would say something very bad happened to him Mm -hmm. happened to larry he didn't even look up there was I don't even know what happened. I thought maybe he had a migraine. I don't know. Yeah, like that's what it looked like. So now Larry's in a coma and asked Jen, "Um, what are we doing this weekend? She's like, we're going to Bentley's flag football game. Right. And sorry, that was a little over the top. (laughs) And then um, he's like, oh, is he coming? I I put some dip in my mouth for that one. (laughs) And she's like, probably not. The end. And then Ryan is literally hooking up with the dog. <laughs> yes. He loves that dog bad. He, he doesn't know it's a dog. Yeah. He thinks it's like a very soft blanket. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the whole thing. Yeah. You're right. And he looks over mm-hmm. and he goes, oh. Yeah. That's it. End scene. Yeah. It's over with them. We don't see them again. Fiend. Mm-hmm. A fiend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fiend. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So now... Okay, guess what, guys? Bentley failed a few tests. No one cares. Oh, uh, right. But here's the thing: an open book test failing okay. that. He I didn't. Mean. Okay, he did a Tracy. I'm right. gonna tell you what I used to do. Tell when me. I was little. Tell me. All right. So when I used to have to take standard, first of all, I was a brilliant child. Uh huh. So I felt. <laughs> I know you're gonna laugh at this mm-hmm. because this is not at all like me. I felt like I was better than standardized tests. Tracy, <laughs> you feel that you are better than every doctor. Yes. Every. Uh-huh. Every person mm-hmm. that you seek something from, yes. you are better. Whether it's authority. someone you're returning authority. something for. Authority. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know you. First of all, Linda at Target was very nice to me today, even though I saw, like, she was wearing a mask, but I saw um, the cringe in her eye when she looked at me. But, <laughs> all right, so I'm taking standardized tests. Mm-hmm. This is around, I don't know, fourth grade maybe. Okay. My mom works in the school I go to. Yeah. Okay. I take, um, I, first of all, I refuse to take one of the, the standardized tests because here's the thing. I found out they don't count towards your grade. So standardized tests don't count towards your grade. It's for the state. Yeah. Right. It's not counting towards my grade. I'm not doing it. (laughs) And you were 10. (laughs) Yeah. I was in fourth grade. I was like, this is a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time. And I'm not participating in this. Is this when they realize you're a psychopath? Is this when it well, happens? N- oh, no. They realized that very early on when I was wow. in kindergarten. And I was going half day. And I asked for a meeting with the principal <laughs> to request a full day. of <laughs> I remember. And you know what? That's so funny. You would do the opposite now. You'd be like, I want a quarter of a day. Yeah, but not if you told me I can only go a half of day. Of course. Well, right. Authority. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. So all right so i'm in fourth grade i refuse i'm pretty sure it's like the social studies one i'm not do. this is stupid i'm not doing this mm-hmm. i could be 
doing my homework. I could be at swim practice. What are we doing here? Really? Right. Right. Okay. So I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. And I, like I said, this is immediately after I found out they don't count. Right. So um, I literally physically refused to take the test. You just so said they no. Put, mm-mm, not doing it. So they put what my did desk they say? in the hallway. All they right. They put but my yeah. desk in the hallway. Okay. And I have to sit outside of the classroom at my desk because I'm being punished. I remember being punished like that, but not for mm-hmm. that. <laughs> also, don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, who cares? I'll sit away from all of you people. I literally don't. Oh, you, yeah. oh, you don't have to sit next to these germ-infested kids? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm sitting in the hallway. They call my mom up. Every time I got in trouble, they called my mom to my classroom. Like, who this worked was, there? Mm-hmm. Yes. This mm-hmm. was like inappropriate, right? So my mom comes up and just like, you know, like uh, just threatens violence on me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I guess if it means so much to her, I'll do it. Right. So you know what I do? What? I go, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take the test now. You're right. And then what do you think I do? Go ahead. You just predict. You, you didn't even read it. You just circled everything. I did just did C's all the A, B, C, D. It was multiple choice. Mm-hmm. I decided that a C would be my best bet. And I put C's all down the thing. I got like a four. See, I figured you doodled. You were just like did swirlies. <laughs> like, yeah, ABC, I got a four. A, B, C. Yeah, there I you got go. got a four. Mm-hmm. What did your and mom say? And my mom say? was like, you got to. I was like, they don't count towards my grade. Yeah, but you still have to take. I didn't have those balls when I was a kid. I just didn't have oh, them. I always You've had ball, never but- not had balls. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, you have. I've always stood you up have for more balls. Right. Listen, I have balls. I've never met anyone like you before. <laughs> I've I just don't know never. If that's a compliment or not? No, it's actually a compliment because I'll be like Tracy. I need this whatever it is, but I can't get it. You'd be like, "Hold on, hold, please." Thirty seconds later, I have it. Okay, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. When, uh, without saying too much, you needed to go to the doctor recently. You yeah, needed to do a virtual appointment. Yeah. So obviously I called the doctor because uh-huh. I'm going to make this Because I wouldn't get one. Right. Sure. And the receptionist said, I'm so sorry. The doctor is not taking virtual appointments. And I said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have one. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and she said, oh, yeah, I know you have to come in because you haven't been here in two years. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, guess what? Right. If the doctor wants to call me in, mm-hmm. he can do so during my virtual appointment. <laughs> yeah. And then moments later, you had a virtual appointment. I did. And it was like in a couple of days. Yeah. I didn't even have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's because I I don't take no for an answer. I know. Tracy, I've taken no for for an answer. I just You take no for an answer all the time. Yeah. I just say no. Like, okay. I think that most people that are like in labor. Yeah. Give birth. Uh Uh-huh. I might not want to. (laughs) <laughs> but I mean, what choice do you have? I always have a choice. See, I was thinking about my t- body, my choice. I, I just don't get I don't push Tracy. So today I was sitting here and I was <laughs> thinking about like, oh, what if they try to when I get pregnant? What if they try to make me do these things that I don't want to do? And I would say to them, my body, my choice. I had this conversation waiting yeah. for you to video chat me today. <laughs> Interesting. What yeah. what what do you think is the biggest um thing that you were thinking about like that you wouldn't want to do? The two things I don't want to do is I don't want pitocin. I don't want to be induced. Okay. And I don't want that balloon inside of me. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Because every single time I've seen somebody be induced, yes. it it has led to an eventual C-section. Always. Okay. Right. Always, I, and I feel I'm like it's unnecessary. <laughs> I also feel like it makes labor pains harder, and I feel like it's unnecessary pain for what's well, going to happen. Well, I will agree with you. I do not want to be induced unless that you would have to prove to me. Yes, exactly. It, you would have to write a ten-page essay with scholarly sources, right? With footnotes telling me exactly why I one hundred percent will die. If I don't get induced. But that's what I'm saying. And I. F- yeah. OK. And I also feel like they induce um, sometimes like just not just to induce, but like it's not right. an emergency. You don't sure. need to do it. I only want to do it if you have to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mm-hmm. totally agree. You can do whatever you want, honey. I like it. Well, you'll be there. You could tell the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm going to tell him. So he failed the open book test. Yeah. We, we know why. OK. Now we know he, why. He, he tracied it. OK. Now we know why. He's like, I don't have time for this. I want to go to wrestling practice. <laughs> now, the real 
tragedy of this scene. What goes on with Macy's lipstick? It's always this terrible orangey brown. Why? I don't know. She's uh, she's very, I don't know. She clashes a lot. I know. And then she's sitting in front of a mound of clutter. I can't. The table in back of her just oh makes me want to claw my eyes out. I got palpitations mm-hmm. when I saw it. And then she's like, what comes first after family and faith? And he's like, school. And it's like family, faith, school? Yeah. That's a, I didn't Live, grow laugh, up in that love? house. Right. Right, well, also, right. he wants to try out for the golf team. What oh, well, he likes hell? golfing. But what school has a golf team? Team. He goes to private school, remember? I went to private school. We didn't have a no, golf no, no, team. No, 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 no. We went to Catholic school. Yeah. He goes to private school. Oh, he went to school like my cousin did. Yeah. Yes, yeah. in an academy. Mm-hmm. Yep, in an academy. exactly. Uh-huh. Okay, so now let's talk about <laughs> my favorite person, probably in this entire world, Ambie Pooh. But why do you like her so much? I like that I don't like her. Okay, I could see I like that. how all... I like that she always amazes me because just when you think you're like she's the worst she gets worse she out worse herself she out she, she out ambers herself <laughs> constantly yeah she does all right so she goes to gary's and she's like you know i really have to come to uh gary's house a lot because soon leah won't want to see um me right uh, because you know she'll get like too cool to hang out with her mom and mm-hmm. it's like Okay, I mean, we could pretend that's why Leah doesn't want to see you. Yeah, or just Leah, like, she's annoyed by your presence, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So now let's talk about Gary, him and his tomatoes, <laughs> man. I love it. I love how passionate he is about tomatoes. Gary's probably like, listen, <laughs> I know you're not paying us a ton to film. Right. But this is on my rider. I need my tomatoes in every scene that we film. Listen, maybe he wants to start a pasta sauce line. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Gary's tomatoes. So now <laughs> they're going to go boating. And Gary's talking about they're, they're going to go boating in Amber's quote unquote old neighborhood. Right. Mm-hmm. OK. So Gary's like, how's your house? It's Andrew's now. Which was very funny. I thought it was so funny. Oh, my God. I was like, Amber's going to fight him. Yeah. I thought she was going to like throw. She's going to throw him. him down the stairs uh-huh. and start punching him. Like yeah. she did the first time she went to jail. <laughs> then we get a flashback that is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. from her sitting in a dirty motel now this motel mm-hmm. particularly mm-hmm. is the motel where gary showed up with cracker barrel a cracker barrel meatloaf meal i love their meatloaf and a scented candle yes that's what to try to you would win me over that way to try to woo her back into mm-hmm. the house and now okay so now she's talking about her house and how she misses it and right. she said i wanted to build a family in that house and all of a sudden, light bulb moment. Mm-hmm. That's what she was doing with the machete. She was building a family. Oh, she was constructing a family. Yes. She was oh. macheteing <laughs> pieces of family. <laughs> she was knifing a family. She was like, let me make this Andrew shorter <laughs> by cutting his head off to build a better <laughs> family. I need a better Andrew. Oh, my God. So now she doesn't want to turn. Uh, no. So Oh, my God. Noel. Tell me. She's like. So Christina's like, do you mind if we go boating in your old neighborhood? And she's like, yeah, well, I don't want to run into (laughs) anyone in particular. And it's like, Amber, just say you don't want to see James. Yeah, right. Well, you're you're right. Because I love how she's like, I miss my old house. I don't you don't miss your kid. You just miss the house. Just miss the house. She's like, oh, those two guys are living in it now. It's like, I forget James even exists. Yeah. Same. Same Uh with Amber. Yeah, that's true. MTV mm-hmm. for every one of her scenes uses a cartoon sloth. Yeah, they do. It's very funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's d- done a lot less couch sitting this season, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of more boat sitting. Yes. So now, <laughs> Leah, mm-hmm. uh, they're going to go pick her up from school. Mm-hmm. And Christina <laughs> didn't tell her. Okay, now let me tell you why Christina did not tell her that Amber was coming. Why? Amber thinks, or Christina alludes to the fact that it was a surprise that amber was coming yeah no she wasn't telling leah in case amber canceled and she didn't want her to be disappointed oh it's like you're a lot better at this than me sometimes Mm -hmm. yeah i'm okay i am amber yeah (laughs) leah gets in the car she has the cutest little bob haircut i love it i love it Mm -hmm. leah seems all the way annoyed yeah she's like but why are you here (laughs) <laughs> she's like well what do you want me to get out and walk on the road she's like do you wanna right yeah she's not interested i'm like oh this is 
mini uh-huh. Gary. I love uh-huh. this. So now she's like, hey, mom, remember when you used to drive me around the rich neighborhood and show me all the rich houses and tell me that you were going to buy one? She's yep. like, and I did, right? And Leah, you see the thought bubble over her head. Uh-huh. And it's like, yeah, you live in a real great house, mom. Right, you live in the haunted that mansion. Worked out. <laughs> that worked out. Also... Now, do you remember Amber's house? Like, we've seen the aerial view of it a million times. It's a it's, it's a, nice a regular house. house. Yeah. It's an listen, it's a very nice house. I would love to have that house. Me too. Is it a rich house in Indiana? Listen, you and I both live in rich house neighborhoods. Sure. We just of do. Course. And yeah. they'll now, if I saw like the houses over here, the houses by you there, I'd say, Oh, okay. That's a rich. Okay, so here's right? the thing. If that that house was in New York City, in you know Queens where we live or whatever, it would be a million dollars for sure. Oh, hands down. That's so but, scary. Yeah. But mm-hmm. also the there's a fixer upper near my house that's on the market for like over a million dollars. It's like one point nine. So anyway. Yeah. But also in Indiana, mm-hmm. how much could that house be? Po- I mean, no, I'm, listen, I'm not shitting on her, but like. What was the house? Three hundred fifty thousand dollars. I was gonna say it's three hundred fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. exactly what I was gonna say. Which yeah, is three. I wish that I had a house that I could buy here that looked like that for three hundred fifty. Oh my god, it's uh-huh. a beautiful house, but a rich house? No, it's not okay. A rich house. Macy's house is a rich house. Macy's house is. Listen, Macy's house is dope. That's a big house. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like that's a rich house. Mm-hmm. She has a freaking, uh, what's it called? A guest house. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amber. You have a you have a three bedroom, two bathroom. Relax. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> also, where is every single one of her twenty five dogs? Okay, I think about that all the time, and I bet you she abandoned them with baby James. Hmm. What What do you mean? You think that they're there with Andrew? Yeah, I think Andrew. No, has the dogs. I don't think so at all. Why? Because I just don't think so. I think that they are not with Andrew either. Oh, I don't know. I feel like they're with Andrew, but maybe not. Who knows? Mm. anyway if you guys have any insight on that please go into our group yeah um, so now emily mm-hmm. is super excited uh-huh she's pumped and then she we looks flash- like leah they look a lot she alike mm-hmm. she has we have a flashback to parasailing yes and also that's a flashback um to amber having custody of james yeah for a month <laughs> also mm-hmm that's a flashback to the first time that Gary and Christina watched her kid. Watched her <laughs> new kid. <laughs> That's very true, too. Yeah. So now um, there was a boat. They're walking to the boat. And the, right. there's one of the boats on the whatever is yeah. named Horny. Uh-huh. And, Le- and Leah's like, do you see that? Do you see what that is? Amber's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, now, <laughs> Amber up, is on the boat. With the yes. whole fam, right? Uh-huh. They're on this like cool, I don't know, what is it, like a catamaran? I don't know. It's yeah, a boat. I, I guess it's cool. Okay. She's outside on the boat mm-hmm. with a mask around her, just on her mouth, not on her nose. Yes. Wh- what, are you, what are we doing here? I don't is know. It, wh- do we have a mask on or do we not have a mask on? She, and the thing is, she knows how to wear masks. She always has it on correctly. So I don't understand. So now... They're taking a selfie, her and Leah. Yeah. Uh, you know, she's forcing her to. Because yeah. she's like, Leah, when I'm with you, I'm sorry, but we have to document it every single time. So right. Yeah. Have we have to pretend that we like each other. And Leah's like, oh, my God, stop. I look chubby. And I felt sad. Me, too. Because it's like you're entirely like, too young to ever say something oh like that. Oh, my God. You mm-hmm. have the rest of your life to be miserable. Don't yeah. do it now. So now Amber sits down with Townsend, the producer. Who the hell is that? Who is that? Townsend I bet you it's because every producer just hates Amber and they had to get a new one (laughs) and the girl's like fine but don't use my real name yeah really Townsend (laughs) she's like my name's Valerie but you can just call me my name is laptop (laughs) you know (laughs) (laughs) so now Amber's hair during this conversation Uh uh-huh tell Tell me me about it no you tell me um it's it's very Romany Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's uh it's it's down though i will say it's down which never happens but it's mm-hmm. it's it's double colored in a non ombre way okay so it really reminds me of one of your favorite snacks which one which is a chocolate orange mm, i was just eating one before the podcast i know yeah mm-hmm. it, that's what it is it's chocolate brown with 
bright orange tips in a like you said in a very non ombre way because the, there is a there's a line of demarcation th- that's the thing okay that's from when she was with matt and she had platinum hair that's the same blonde mm-hmm. now yeah i guarantee yeah. you yep oh for sure mm-hmm. so now she's talking about how, like how leah grew up so fast oh, she went she's to just gel. like me oh my god she's just, just she like is me nothing like you no you know how you i also know shouldn't want her to be like you. why because oh, she's not in gel because she's in the free world so please stop right because she's not you know um so i was gonna say she's not kissing her but i forgot <laughs> the name her roommate in gel <laughs> now they do this montage at the end right showing yeah. everyone like mm-hmm. you know happy happy and she's in gary's house yeah no mask well, yeah, but yet she has to wear a mask on the boat, but she's in, in the car house without. Uh huh. And I was thinking, I like Christina doesn't even have one on, but you but have I don't one under- on. I need to know the reasoning. I'm listen. I'm not saying that she's wrong or right. I just want to know why. Um, because this is honestly who Amber is. That's real. Okay. It's really like not to be a jerk, but it is who she is. Yes, it definitely is. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. this has been a very interesting uh, yes. episode of yes. Teen Mom and also Teen Mom Trash Talk. And I need you guys to absolutely join us every Wednesday night on the Stereo app. You're going to use the link in our show notes and also the links in our bio to all of our social media. You could find me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. Noe Girl on um, Twitter. And Instagram is now it's changed. So it just is. take note. I'm a new it's woman. Noe Girl underscore and also Noe Girl on stereo. Right. So we're both on stereo mm-hmm. with our social media names. And we're going to be taking the after party of trash talk over to stereo so we can talk directly to you about anything you want. Stereo is where people have started talking together again. You can be your very, very own host. And here we are. Mm-hmm. Here we are. If listening is more your jam, jump on our stereo talk and ask all the questions you've been itching to ask. It's so fun because like it's it's even people join us like and ask us things that we don't know. We make like new friends on there. Oh, yeah. I, I made love. a new friend. I made a new friend the other day <laughs> uh-huh. and he he invited me to go live with him. And I don't even know who he is, but we're, we're together now. I love that. I think it's so fun. We'll get like random people just like I, there was a guy talking about Florida with us. We didn't even yeah. know him. Mm hmm so fun absolutely so much fun so you guys can go to stereo.com slash trixie tuzini or download the stereo app and follow me at trixie tuzini follow noelle at noe girl and make sure every wednesday night 7 p.m eastern standard time you join us on stereo you will not regret it no you won't regret it and uh, i think you'll love us more honestly i'll see you at the after party okay okay bye bye